Riot has taken to Reddit to give an in-depth explanation of how the ranked system works beneath the hood. They've discussed some of this stuff before but never really gone in-depth to this extent. I thought you all might find it helpful, so here's everything that was mentioned. There's 11 questions all up, including how MMR is converted to LP, so make sure you stick around for that. Also, if you find this helpful, make sure to subscribe. Perhaps time for an official transparent explanation for ranked play. The same questions are asked over and over again, but that's because Riot only ever qualitatively describes ranked play and never had a list of rules and calculations calculations for gamers to understand what is going on under the hood of ranked. How are match ratings calculated? Do the stats you see in your profile matter at all? If you're talking about the champion mastery ratings like C through S, they're based on performance on your champ compared to others' performance on the same champion. I think it looks at stats like KDA and a few other things. How's MMR calculated? If you win it goes up and if you lose it goes down, purely win-loss based. The amount depends on the MMRs of the other players in your game. If yours is lower than the other players, you'd gain more for a win and lose less for a loss and vice versa. Is match rating influential to MMR or part of MMR's calculations? E.g., do KDA players overall gain more MMR even if the decisions they make lose more games compared to team players who sacrifice their KDA to win a few more games? Nope, performance is not a part of MMR's calculations right now. Do duos and pre-made have an increased MMR penalty? In matchmaking, yes, there's an offset to match pre-mades with more skilled players on the other team if we can't put a duo or pre-made of equal size on the other team. How fast does MMR recalibrate itself? Because at the moment, sometimes it fluctuates it's like crazy, you have one bad game and you match with two ranks below and the next you match with the ranks above. Variance decreases with games played if you're not win streaking or doing something else that indicates that you're not being matched in fair games. Are best of three matches purposely always going to have one high MMR match and one low MMR match? There's nothing special about matchmaking in promo series and they're also being removed for Split 2 this year. Is demotion possible and how exactly can that happen? Current alleged information says that if your MMR drops one full rank below the lowest division of your rank, you'll get a warning and subsequently a demotion if your MMR doesn't improve. Does that mean you can win some and lose some games, overall lose MMR and drop a rank or not? Yes, lose enough games at whatever tier, 0 LP. Is MMR influenced by how well you did in your last season? E.g., you reached Platinum one year ago, that was the last time you played, would you gain significantly more LP and MMR each match you play? Yes, MMR is mostly preserved even through resets. How is LP calculated in relation to MMR? We have an MMR to rank mapping. If your MMR is above your visible rank, you'll gain more LP than you lose. If your MMR is below your visible rank, you'll lose more LP than you gain. This is necessary to prevent progressive inflation. In other words, the more games you play, the higher your rank becomes without actual improvement and the latter inflates. But it does feel pretty bad experientially. Is the ELO system built into MMR? If you're winning more games than you're losing, your MMR will rise and you'll be matching with better allies and opponents until you're not. At this point, you're probably at the correct skill level, so over time, this means people will settle at around a 50% win rate. Is there a logical measure to bar the contradictory problem of MMR Deathloop slash ELO Hell. We try to make every game balance as best as we can. Plenty of things other than matchmaking can affect fairness or perception of it. Are people tired? Playing champions in roles they're not comfortable with? Is one team's draft much better than the others? Did someone lose a 50-50 coin flip play early? Did people mentally give up? Etc. Anyway, that was a lot of questions. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe if this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.